five. Oh my goodness. Oh my, 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 my goodness. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm just, oh, I'm all over the place right now. Okay, so. Storm Shadow. I, no, let's, let's, no, let's lead up to that. Let's lead up to the really, really <laughs> sweet ass stuff. So, um, if you guys, yeah, I'm, like I said, if you, if you guys are aware, we were doing this straight after the, the stream. It's just finished. Uh, it is myself, Diagnostic 80, Chris McLeod, we've got Paddy, we've got Justin, and we are just gonna absolutely go nuts now on what we have just seen, because talk about out of the blue, like just out of nowhere, they've just gone, you know what, we're gonna start revealing some cool stuff uh, that you don't know about, and okay, let's we'll rewind, the beginning of that stream, we were introduced to Roni, who is the brand uh, manager of the of the brand, and it's the first time actually I've seen her speaking uh, since we we actually reported on her getting that job in the GI Joe uh, brand. So that's really cool. One, two, Lenny was joining again. He'd just been on this Transformers stream. Um, a lot of reveals kind of took the edge off the Transformers stream. Thankfully, the GI Joe stream was full of some really cool extra stuff that we had not anticipated. I mean, where, okay, okay I'm getting ahead of myself again, guys. Um, starting off with Gung Ho and the Red Ninja, that was the first thing they kind of really talked, well actually no, sorry, Cobra Command was the first thing they talked about. Whoa, I'm all over the place. And the so, network variant that's not a variant, but there's now a variant. It's, yes, so obviously um, I had said in the past that I, I had, I had thought the colorway, the blue color, the light blue with the gold that then was retracted from everywhere. People were saying it's a pre-production this, it's pre-production that. And I'm like, trust me, it's a deluxe. It's too different a deco for them not to put out. And I love being right. And I'm going to keep pushing that because they even said they were going to release this later down the line as an exclusive. Now that is like, clearly to me, that means that they had that plan the whole time. They were gonna be two different decos. They were both produ produced. And you could see that with the box that the guy was opening on the network video. So they've decided now from the live stream, they're gonna send, the both of them are coming out now. You can order them both now on Hasbro Pulse. I just spent ages like trying to fiddle around to pre-order everything. With the, <laughs> with, with, with the darker variant coming sooner. So the, the yes. light blue variant is coming at the end of the year in December. Thank you very much, Paddy, um, for the, the details. Commander, the, the, the dark blue will be coming in mid-September. Absolutely. Um, for, let's 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 get some responses from that first, Paddy. How did you feel about them changing tack, pivoting, and delivering on both Cobra Commanders? I think it's actually probably the best thing they could do for people. They also mentioned that the network will be getting in contact with anybody who ordered one of the Cobra Commanders, so presumably they're going to offer to hold a delivery and get the light blue variant later on, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Um, they, they, they did say the network would be reaching out to anybody who ordered one of the 2,000 figures they had available on the network. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they'll offer people the option of getting one or the other. I'm really happy about it because I, uh, I, I like, unlike a lot of few people who were kind of one or the other, it was like, I love the, the light blue or I love the dark blue and hate the other one. There seemed to be a lot of that kind of floating around. And I was looking at like, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to need both of those. <laughs> I'm like, if I have to break into Hasbro tonight and fish out that blooming sample... The curse I'm of being a complete estate, Chris. Exactly. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, we're going to have to get a crew together. You son of a bitch, I'm in. What's the job? That's what was going to happen. And thankfully now it doesn't have to because I've already completed my mission of pre-ordering everything on Hasbro Pulse. And Amazon, which we'll get to in a second. Justin, first off, thoughts about the Cobra Commanders. You happy with both of those? Yeah, I think it was the right move. Um, you know, I mean, with all the challenges we had with the network app and and all the stuff kind of surrounding, all the confusion with the different images, you know, it, it, it seemed pretty clear to us just, you know, the guy that had the sample in the box, you know, in that stupid autoplay video during the, the product release. Oh, um, I mean, that was so a, glad that I missed that. Pretty... <laughs> It was a pretty close to a stage of completion there that, you know, to be, to be pre-production, I mean, I guess it was possible, but it seemed like they certainly had other thoughts in mind. So I think this is a great way to, to kind of satisfy people who, who thought they were getting one thing and maybe were getting another, um, 
but still releasing the, the dark blue one as well. And I really loved some of the comparison shots that Lenny, Lenny had holding up both figures at once because um, some of those early product shots of the light blue one made him look kind of cheap a little bit. I don't know if it was mm -hmm. just a reflection of the lighting or whatever, but seeing them both kind of in hand next to each other, they looked a lot less, you know, the, yeah. the light blue one looked more production ready and the blue looked a little bit milder, not quite so vibrant as it did in some of those pictures. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I love them both. I think they're both great. And, you know, I, I think I've been on, been on the podcast with you, Chris, at the beginning saying, you know, I don't think I'm going to be a completist with this line, but yeah. Yes, you are, mate. The window already. Yes, you are. By the <laughs> way, um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing an, an apron, I'm not wearing an apron. It's my Giorgio face mask from, uh, Roma Collectibles. So thank you, Roma Collectibles. Uh, I, I just have it around my neck because I can't be bothered to keep tying it up and putting it on every five seconds to take the dogs out for a walk. Irrelevant. That's not what you're here for. That's not what the 45 people that are already on the call. That's, that's a lot. Where are you on the watch alongs, guys? I'm kidding. Um, so uh, <laughs> big thank you to everyone jo joining and, and watching us at the moment. Hi, Mom. I see you there. Um, and there's so many people on at the moment. I'm not going to call you all out, but thanks for jumping on with us. Um, also, if you have any questions, throw them up. I'll try and get to them at the end of the stream. Now, um, so Ca Cobra Commander, great. That's, that's been and gone. We've, you know, we've, they, 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 met, they talked about the network. They, I thought they were very tactful in the way they dealt with that information. And uh, actually, do you know what? I thought that was a solid stream. I thought that was a 2,000 really, uh, really network figures sold in six minutes. Amazing. Under yeah. six that minutes. Crazy. 2,000 yeah. minutes of that figure gone like, like that. Um, I mean, I bet Cobra Commander wished some of his plans would go through. I'm trying to do a corny joke like they would do on... The only problem is most people buy <laughs> multiple, so really it's only a thousand people buying him. Yeah, actually, no. Three people bought them, but Bill Nedro <laughs> bought 86% of those. Um, <laughs> shout out to Bill Nedro. Um, hi, hi, my wife, Kate. I know you're watching from the room over there. Hi. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so we've had Cobra Commander. Next up, they discussed Gung Ho and the Red Ninja. Now, let's talk about Gung Ho first, because that is a, for me, I thought when I first saw that, perfect execution of like an updated figure, just absolutely top notch. Uh, Paddy, what are your thoughts on that Gung Ho? Yeah, I thought, when I saw the images last night, I thought, this is the one that's going to get all the naysayers right on board with this line because it's exactly what people were complaining about. They got rid of the gold and um, they gave it, make it a more military look. He has the military colors on him. Um, he's quite clearly gone whole, just updated and, uh, and revamped. And I was kind of surprised today when I woke up this morning to see all the kind of comments were like, meh. Yeah. Which I'm surprised at because I actually thought he was like a home run. Um, I I, same same i mean the, the, he's got he gives off that kind of space marine vibe to me mm, as well but like yeah. I, I just thought he looked incredible there's, and like, there's the, a even and, and, and something else when the, we saw the packaging art later on in the in, in the in the in the live stream it's something like it's like a predator or something you know that sort of way he's he gets a futuristic kind of colonial marine predator yeah. vibe going on which i kind of like also in the artwork they showed off we'll get to the artwork in a second as well but they had the cobra mambas in the distance obviously dropping some bombs yep. and stuff just like unreal like awesome stuff um i am just like all over the place obviously we're, we're focusing on this i can't do things like posting on our page because we are talking on our page right now but uh while we were while we were going along i was dropping some of the product images so if you want to have a look at those after the stream have a look we've got the gung-ho product images and they look incredible and like again removable hat mohawk exquisite um justin what are your thoughts on, on gung-ho quickly oh gung-ho was about as perfect as you can get i thought it was fantastic i agree with patty that i thought i really thought that once he was revealed we'd be turning around a lot of people that were complaining about how wave one was too bright and and um how they need to mute the colors and then of course they they mute gung-ho and the first response we have is oh he's too dark where's his bright blue uniform where's his bright blue vest now i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think it looks win. fantastic. It's the you no, can't no, win scenario, agree. isn't it, basically? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just oh, awesome. Okay, then, then Red Ninja, which I think was like a, for me, was like a sleeper in that wave of like, just absolutely superb, like the, the zombie dead eyes, the, the beautiful colors, because it's not just a straight red figure. Like, you know, it's not like the snake eyes and all black. It is 
you know, different tones, like almost like a maroon burgundy color for the bass red. It's like, it's really, really rich. It's vibrant, some beautiful aspects to it. And holding all the weapons with that amazing mm -hmm. secondary. Again, oh, if, you, if you want to have a look, guys, again, on our page afterwards, we put all the product images on there that we've, we've uh, managed to get hold of. And there's one picture showing all the weapons in his gear. He's got like a backpack, which holds weapons. He's got a belt, which holds weapons. Incredible. Paddy. Um, it's great they're getting those additional Snake Eyes Deluxe weapons out there again on one figure, which I think is fantastic. Um, I love the fact that he looks like a reject from Mortal Kombat 11. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a buy from me. I'm really worried they're going to end up short packing him. And yeah. it's not going to be, uh, uh, that's the only problem because I think a lot of people are going to want, going to want multiples. So yeah. I really hope he's a couple of, there's at least a couple of things in the case. Well, on my, on my pre orders, I had to put two on there so yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i mean yeah this is this is crazy um the, the red ninja beautiful um justin and i did a patron uh video l l yesterday uh, quite early in the day um that kind of revealed a lot of this information so if you're a patron of our show you got this stuff you know well in advance but uh we discussed on there and i think i mentioned chain mail from what i saw in the picture but it's actually like snake skin isn't it that kind of skelt a skirt belt that he's wearing, right, Justin? Crotch towel. Crotch towel. Sorry, the crotch towel. The grundle covering. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can grab it and pull it up to the bum and tuck it into your bum. And there you go, you've got a grundle covering. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, yeah, you can. Your mom's still listening? Yeah, hi, mom. <laughs> 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 She's like, what the hell's a grundle? Anyway, um, what are your, what are your she thoughts? Knows. She knows. She does. What are your thoughts on the Red Ninja, Justin? What are your Red Ninja thoughts? Oh I, oh, I love it. I think they did an awesome job. I mean, it's obviously not based on the old school kind of, you know, silent issue number 21 version, but uh, the base, the, the figure tooling itself looks like Snake Eyes for the most part, um, but the additional secondaries to put on top of it just completely reinvent the figure. Change I love it, like, the yeah. shoulder pads. And, yeah, and the hood and the, the snake oh. themed, which I didn't realize from the images yesterday that, the mask was actually snake sculpted or snake themed and it's that's a really fangs, awesome touch hasn't it it's got like little yeah. fangs no, oh, it's, I, beautiful. I think it's the it's almost the same design they've got for storm shadow who has the same kind of like tech, yeah. tech mask as well so he's got little fangs on there as well which is pretty pretty neat um yeah. again like product images galore check them out because the red ninja gung-ho amazing now um they broke in 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 the midstream they talked to Shaw, who was the art director uh, for the Hasbro, for the G.I. Joe Hasbro brand stuff. And he discussed like getting the artists involved. There's some names being thrown around. Mike Thompson's thrown around in there. Tracy Ching, obviously. Uh, James White. Now, Phil Noto. Yeah, let's, oh yes, Phil Noto, absolutely. The lot, you know, again, loads of different art artists on all of these figures and they look amazing. They showed some of the art in full as well, like the Cobra Commander art, which was great. I was like, it's the first time I've seen it in full. And you've got night ravens and hiss tanks and a giant serpent snake in the background as well. It's like, and that actually caught me thinking, could you imagine a serpentor in this line? Like, I mean, I'm wow. just thinking out loud, but my goodness, that would be amazing. Um, and as obviously when, as it went on, we saw the gung ho art, which you mentioned, Paddy, that's beautiful. Um, I mean, what are the standouts for you, Justin? What were the standouts for you in the art kind of department there? Oh, it was, it was all amazing. I mean, I've always loved Mike Tom and Thompson stuff ever since mm. he was doing it in Rise of Cobra and Pursuit of Cobra. He's just got a really awesome, unique yeah. kind of realistic style. Great and with lighting. Walk looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, so I love that. But um, it, it's really interesting to me how they can weave all of the different styles into these these packages and make them look Unique. The, the gung ho one, as Patty mentioned, you know, previously, really looked like it was it was pulled from a wartime movie, kind of with the mambas up in the background. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. It had like uh, Vietnam vibes, really, really didn't it? it? Like Vietnam vibes, yeah, like totally the did. trees on fire in the background, and like you know, he's kind of up in the corner, yeah. like doing the like the hold position kind of kind of um, uh, exactly uh, signal. Um, yeah, just uh, all awesome all around. Paddy, what was your standout in the art? Um, just two I really liked. Uh, Furio Tadeshi's Red Ninja art. Furio which Tadeshi! We were aware he was doing work on G.I. Joe for Snake, the Snake Eyes movie. Yes. Um, if the Snake Eyes movie looks like that, I'm on board. Uh, same. Um, same. Definitely. 
uh, and the other one was James White's uh, oh. PDD Destro. Well, that brings us on to the next reveal then, doesn't it? And that is the Profit Director Destro. And I'm leaving one of the ones that came before this out for now because it's just so mind-blowing. But Profit Director Destro, that came up uh, last night. It was, it was leaked, the uh, package image. And I've just posted all of the production images. So again, you can see that after with some beautiful shots, guys. Um, an absolutely mind-blowing figure and an absolutely mind-blowing box with box art from James White. I mean, signal noise on Instagram. But guys, I mean, Justin, take, take, us, take us through some of the details of that, of that profit director Destro. Well, I mean, they, they hit all the right notes. I mean, I'm not one of those people that was really wedded to the whole idea of, of PDD. You know, I thought it was an, a unique kind of accident back in the day. And, yeah. you know, the constant revisiting, I wasn't really, it didn't really move me one way or the other. Um, but the way they did this, you know, there's such a style to it. The removable sunglasses and kind of that leopard skin uh, oh. cape and, and the, the, uh, the money, money on fire. I mean, money. Yeah, fantastic. What? Fantastic. I love the backstory um, so yeah, that I mean, Lenny, think, the backstory that Lenny was saying about they're robbing a casino and he's trying to blend in and all of, all of that yeah. kind of aspect. Just, it sounded like a Paddy Lennon hacks bio card. <laughs> from uh <laughs> yeah, just it's it's you know what i love the fact that they're leading into a wacky idea this area yeah agreed agreed you know, yeah. uh, well, gi joe should definitely. never take itself too seriously and and i think this is perfect this is a perfect example of that now that was originally a an exclusive it was going to be an exclusive uh figure in terms of oh, we're just we're just hearing news that red Ni well not just hearing news the red ninja sold out on hasbro pulse but don't fear because last time we did the pre-orders uh, Toy Fair, Justin and I and all the other guys that were doing them, we noticed that it was all sold out. And then a few moments later, they all came back in again. And it's like a second right. wave of that Yeah, they set them up they, in exactly. numbers. Like they might have a thousand men. And, and they've yeah. got yeah. other retailers. Like, yeah, yeah they, said, they said it would be available in other retailers. Yeah. 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 Entertainment Earth and Dorkside toys and other places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Big, big don't worry, stuff, you'll yeah. be able to get them, trust me. But yeah, uh, the, um, the, that original d uh, Destro was going to be an exclusive. SDCC was kind of canned, so they went with a different channel and they put it on Pulse, which is nice because it's like, it feels like it's part of the Wave, even though it's not technically part of that Wave 2 uh, product. Uh, I know it's all very confusing, but it's Cobra Commander, uh, Gung Ho, Red Ninja, and then this Storm Shadow, which is also an exclusive. I mean, wow. And... They also posted an image. I'm not sure, was it by accident or did they mention this? Because I was too busy trying to buy things at that point. Was that image of a different figure? Was that another Storm Shadow? Or no, it's Storm Shadow without the helmet on. Oh, right. They showed, to, to show that it was a removable helmet. But he had different fatigues. He had like green and, and all sorts on. So I don't know. I'll show you the picture afterwards and we'll have to, we'll have yeah, to discuss that. I know that. what you're talking they, about. They, but they, they did show a screenshot image about of, of him without the hood. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think that's what you're thinking of, yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll show you anyway later. In any case, um, uh, yeah, I mean, Storm Shadow. Out of nowhere... I can actually hear um, Adam Rich is screaming, Ninja <laughs> Force! from here. When, when <laughs> like, I noticed across enough. the entirety of the Atlantic Ocean. I saw the message pop up when we were watching the stream and it was just like, oh yeah. So Adam's <laughs> probably very happy right now that they're doing this uh, Ninja Force Storm Shadow, which uh, I mean, and I've already seen some comments saying, oh, getting that one before the regular one. Chill out. It just means You'll we're getting get the regular one. We're going to get an awesome Storm Shadow as well. Like Chances are you're going to see a Storm Shadow movie figure sometime in the next oh eight we're months. gonna see so and he's cool. going to be fairly traditional you're gonna be so that. sick of storm shadows yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, I do i do have to say you know if, if hasbro is going to do an updated dojo um you know i'm <laughs> i'm right here so <laughs> you can borrow borrow my head and if you want to borrow my eyes for guillotine go right ahead <laughs> um bit little uh, uh figure subscription service in joke there for everyone there uh right <laughs> let's um <laughs> I was going to say a joke about. Okay, I, well, I'm not uh, Storm say Shadow is apparently on Amazon, but he's not on uh, Irish Amazon. So, oh, no. Amazon. I've just ordered him on Amazon. Oh no! And he, yeah, and oh my god, oh my god! I'm anyway. sure he'll end up as an exclusive for somewhere in Europe. We'll get him as an exclusive as well at some point. I mean, guys, I mean that to me. 
that like despite the despite the leaks which we had many many leaks uh, on the lead up to this they didn't even talk i mean they just let, let's also mention that they did a q a and the retro line was brought up the retro line not only like, are those questions vetted but there's there's no way they'd let that question in if there wasn't anything to it and mm. roni even said we can't really discuss it as at the moment but just keep your eyes peeled for a reveal next week is what she basically said effectively so um at least we know that we're not going crazy and this thing does actually exist and will be revealed to us at some point um i think that was more my concern than anything else that hasbro hadn't even uh, like acknowledged broke. its existence yeah, yeah so i mean what are your thoughts yeah. on on that particular situation uh, paddy I wish we knew what exactly the retro line is. Is yeah. it twi modern era, 25th style stuff? Is it vintage remakes? Is it something in between? Um, that's the one thing. We know there's a His Time coming in that. We know there's an All Striker coming in that. Yeah. But we don't actually know what the figures are yeah. you know, in terms of their build and so on. Um, yeah. Uh, irregardless, I probably won't buy them anyway because I don't collect vintage and I have more than enough modern era <laughs> Joes. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> But it would, it, it's kind of doing my head and wondering, what are they exactly? I hope, I hope for the sanity of the fandom that we're dealing with three and three quarter reproductions of the original vintage line, just because that seems to be what, I mean, I think that would satiate a huge side of the fandom that yeah. aren't necessarily into mm -hmm. the classified line. And let's face it, you know, like I feel like most of the uh, apologies if this is like i'm not i'm not saying i'm not directing anything directly at any pe people in, in like individuals or anything like that you're all welcome to your opinion like we are you are like i'm, I'm not saying you're wrong at all what i uh, would suggest though is that i think a lot of people that are against the six inch line are very much hardcore three and three quarter guys and um you know I, I I don't think it's completely beyond the you know out of, of the realm of possibility for that to be the truth. Uh, at the same time, I I'm not saying that you should like the classified line at all. You are completely within your rights to say I'm not a fan of that. I'm lukewarm on most of the figures. I'm going to end up buying maybe two of the first wave and maybe one or two one of the second wave. And there you go. You know, like I'm lukewarm at best. You're not Luke. You're Paddy. I thought we had this conversation <laughs> beforehand. Um, Justin, what are your thoughts on the on that aspect of, of of the thing? Well, not just of what I just mentioned, but just in general with the retro line. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of with Paddy. I just want to know what they are. I mean, it's obvious we've seen images of you know sealed cases from somewhere. You know, Hasbro has essentially kind of admitted to you know this existing during the live stream so i i, I just wish i knew what kind of the holdup was i mean they've, yeah. they're obviously pretty far along in, in production i just want to know a little bit more about them i think you know i'm excited to hear what, and see what they are um yeah you know i'm not sure if i'll be you know both feet in or not but um but i i just want to like patty i want to know what we're getting into and I would, if there are o-ring kind of reproductions or reinventions i will definitely be grabbing me some of those if they're modern era stuff you know we'll probably have to see kind of what they look like how much they've been updated but um yeah, yeah. but yeah i just i'm mostly i'm just kind of starved for information i just want to know <laughs> well i'm trying my best um <laughs> yeah come on chris Maybe you're, you're, maybe, maybe six you're literally across press. the road from their offices, Chris. I know. I know. Exactly. Come on, man. I'm in, you son of a bitch. What's the job? Um, right. So <laughs> let's let's uh, again. Like I, I'm. I think that I, I honestly believe that that stream was the best we could have hoped for. With the with the leaks, we got new stuff. We got some really cool insight. If, into... if Gung Ho and the Red Ninja hadn't been leaked, that would have been an excellent. Exactly. Stream. Exactly. If we'd have gotten exactly, away with yeah. the leaks yesterday. I think that would have been one of those streams that would have been un like just, you'd have been talking about it for the rest of your life. Yeah. But as it were, we you know we got some really cool stuff though, really cool stuff. And can we talk a bit more about Storm Shadow? No, we're too much. Anyway, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm a massive. You've bought one already. <laughs> I'm a V2. I'm a V2 um, Storm Shadow fan. So I'm hoping at some point down the line we get that digital camo, but I can see it. I can see it. Um, it's, it's there. It's looking at me and I'm going to have it. And they anyway. specifically said you would see characters turn up in different gear. Yes. So and I'm, yeah. I'm so will happy see, for this. You will see variants of nearly all some of, I, some of I those can't figures again. I believe we've just seen a friggin' Arctic Storm Shadow, guys. What year is this? It's not 2020 because 2020 is only things. 2020 is only horrible <laughs> things. 
Brian Greenwood states, G.I. Joe has saved 2020. You are correct, Brian. It has. Uh, what else have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Arctic SS was a nice surprise. Correct. Hi, Mom. Love you. Um, just had to place some pre-orders. What did I miss, said Adam. Well, hopefully you uh, listened to our entire stream because we just described everything. If anybody wonders why, uh, why that Storm Shadow sold out on Amazon, it's because Adam has bought all of them. He's bought all of them. Him and Ben Bill Pedro <laughs> have gone in He's, on the Storm Shadow. He bought Shadow. 2,000 of them in six minutes. <laughs> uh, people... Definitely. People talking about the like the wanting four inch Joes as well. So obviously the, the that that need is still there as well for that kind of four inch modern styling. And nothing has been said yet, but you never know. Uh, we have seen obviously listings for core figures, as in C O R E uh, figure assortments and vehicle assortments. So I'm guessing that's kind of like a very basic, maybe movie line type stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We've also seen listings for electronic masks and swords and stuff. So I, that was something I was expecting to see today. I was expecting to- I thought they'd like, talk about the masks, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop masks. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Clearly they can't talk about any movie stuff yet because we're waiting for the movie. So, you know, that's why none of that kind of uh, jumped in. Yo Force, says Mark Serbo. Thank you, Mark, Mark for the combination of the two that uh, has also appeared in overdubbed episodes of uh, Action Force. Uh, cartoon as well. Um, I just ordered both CCs on Pulse because now I have no idea which one network is sending me. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> blue one. You know, uh, I, I, hope, I hope, I hope one of it. the options network offers is just to cancel the thing. <laughs> I think... <laughs> like, I'm, cancel I'm, my order, get them through Pulse and be done with it. I can tell you now that network are going to be shifting the dark blue and the light blue is available on Hasbro Pulse yeah. for now. Uh, both of them on Hasbro Pulse, but the light blue as well. Uh, in fact, the dark blue is going to be on Hasbro Pulse later. Was that right, Paddy? You mentioned it's on that? already. It's okay, on already. The, the light blue the, on the you was on. The pre-orders up, yeah. Sorry, okay. pre-orders no, up already. Pre so, so the dark blue will be released in mid-September. Thank you. The Sorry. light blue will be December. Okay, thank you very much. I was not paying attention because I was too busy faffing about trying to do screenshots and send things to net. Like I, this is why we need a full team on this. I feel like I'm the only one that does any of the work here, guys. Come on, pull your okay, weight. Well, you won't make any of us page admins, Chris. That's so true. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make you pay that page admins because I want to see like Irish things posted or, or Justin things posted. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's gonna be like, it'll just be Sigma 6. If I let him in, it'll just be Sigma Absolutely. 6. Absolutely. Oh, totally. It'll be... It'll be you say that like it's a bad thing, Chris. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I, it's an amazing thing. Um, where do we order Arctic Storm Shadow? Did I miss this? Amazon. Um, Amazon. I think this was a while back. Hopefully you listened to that, Nelson, when we mentioned it. Uh, Storm Shadow was a surprise. It was Brian. Brian, Hooded Cobra Commander. Great to have you on board, mate. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I admire the balls it took to make the PD Destro figure. Yeah, I think Yeah, you, like I I'm, said, it's, it's exactly what I want to see. It's dumb and I love it. This is, this is something from Daniel who says, not into a six inch Joe line, but I'm happy for everyone who is and super excited just to see the brand alive again. That is a very nice sentiment and one I wish all the haters. And, and I think it's something we need to bring up as well. There's actual hype about the brand again yes. for the first time in years. We have 53 people watching this stream. That's the, that's the most we've yeah, ever had. had they had been. over 2,000 yeah. people watching the one on Pulse. Oh yeah, where are you guys? Where's where's the two thousand people for the Full Force Facebook fan? Well, you know, they, they they said they sold two thousand Cobra Commanders on network. They you know in six minutes. Like there's yeah, but there's half interest of those went to Bill Medro, again. so <laughs> it's, it's true. Um, but it's you know, it's so true that Bill just wiped out the entire network. Oh, you know, we've amazing. we've we've heard we've heard rumors that retailers weren't able to get all the stuff they ordered. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because they just sold so many cases of classified. And also a lot of stuff's like, been pushed back as well, hasn't it? So like Yeah, it's been pushed back by months or two months, presumably to get more stock made and, and shipped over. Yeah, yeah. Jay you Bates know? says, Do I hear them say classic line is coming? You were you did kind of it's the retro we were talking about. So um just keep an eye out, I think. There's gonna be some sort of reveal soon, is what Roni and, Le and Lenny were getting at. Um, welcome back to Planet Zoom, Chris. I hope you're feeling better. Thank you, Stephen. I'm feeling much better. I had an emergency appendectomy, but I never really talk about it. <laughs> um, I like that gung-ho, says Diana. Yes, we all did. It's amazing. 
Uh, I'm fine with gung-ho, and I'm assuming they couldn't use the USMC emblem, but I don't know what that tattoo is. yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to use... That emblem is licensed, so presumably yeah. they'll have to pay a license fee for it. If you get Just away with same... that sort of shite in the 80s, but you can't get away with it now. Same issue we had with uh, fun publications and when they tried to do um, the SAS for Action Force. They had, to, they had to call it Special Action Force instead of SAF. They can't use the SAS. Yeah, because so. they, there is IP lawyers now and they're working as many in the 80s. Could you imagine an SAS IP lawyer? That would be like the, like the, like the most dangerous human <laughs> being alive. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's one question we have to ask here, which is when, when is the gaucho repaint and that gold and all happening? Oh, do you know what? I really should have been oh, photoshopping man. that yesterday, shouldn't I? Why have I, I failed? Why have you not one? photoshopped that yet? Yeah. I'm going to be doing it after this live stream just because I know someone else is going to be doing it before me. Um, I'm not sure the naysayers will ever be converted. Fair enough. If that's the case, it's that that is the case. Um, like if, if they're not converted by that gung ho and that storm it, shadow, and it, they don't again, know what they want. They, they don't do not need, know what they want. They don't need to be converted necessarily. Like this again. This is you know if you have if you have a feeling towards something and it's a strong feeling, you just go by it. You're not you know that it's totally yeah. understandable. And you know, um, like I, I think I think these reveals have brought in a lot of new people into the yeah. brand. From yeah. the comments I Definitely. saw online this morning after the leaks, a network lot of people were like, in. I don't like G.I. Joe, but I need that figure. The network brought in so yeah. many people from on the yeah. brand, I think. Well. You know, I, I saw a lot of comments saying, I don't like G.I. Joe, but I need that figure, and particularly in relation to uh, P.D. Destro. Yeah. People were like, I just need it because it's so crazy. Yeah, you I know? love the old oh, um, James White man. The 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 art on that is, and the box design, like it looks like kind of I call it the Miami Grenadiers box design because I think that sounds amazing. But it's very like Miami Vice and eighties and gorgeous colors, palm trees. Oh, crazy. Um, Matthew Pack says, "Ooh, you said Mega Marine. That would be a cool variant. Actually, yeah, that would be oh, friggin' man. amazing. Stick yeah. just like stamp a number on him, and you're done. Sorted." <laughs> Just leave that number that was on his on the prototype's head that Lenny was showing uh, when he was showing the haircut. Nice home gym in the background. Whose home gym is in the background? Is that yours, Justin? Yes. That might be just say, I can't fit in mine. Uh, I can't fit in my <laughs> home gym. It's too small. And Paddy's is just a you white wall. Want me to wall. do some squats while we're recording? Yes, here? I can please. Can you take take, you you take your shirt off and do like a <laughs> do like a Willy a Willy Nobody from the Simpsons? No. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Grace um, me up, woman. Hi, Ben Conway is watching. Uh, it may surprise some people, but a few folks aren't looking for futuristic figures. That's true, Brian, you, you know, that absolutely. And like I said, uh, it doesn't surprise me. Like, I, you know, again, opinion is opinion. If you don't like something, you don't like and it. And the retro not... line is coming. Exactly. We're There'll not pushing- retro yeah. designs as well. We, we're also not, I'd also like to say, we're not pushing people to like this. We're just showing our no, no, massive no. excitement for what this is to us. Like, I, I'm just so, I'm just like so buzzing again that I'm seeing, Things like an Arctic storm shadow. GI Joe though. figures that you want to buy and are freely available on exactly. mass retail. Exactly. Guys, it's been a while. Yeah. I like the Red Ninja, says Diana. She's just saying what she likes. Also, we also like the Red Ninja. Uh, has someone complained about this uniform not being blue? I haven't seen that criticism anywhere. I've seen it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troll, be look at any Facebook group. You'll see. I'm that. that Tag sarcasm from Brian there, but uh, I'm not, I can't tell. Would have preferred normal storm shadow, not Arctic. You will get a normal storm shadow. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Like I said, yeah, get, there'll, be, no there'll, be a, there'll be a movie wave of six inch figures and you will get a very traditional looking storm shadow. I Brian, Brian will be so, so sick of storm shadow. I guarantee it. Brian Greenwood has asked, why do you think they're holding out on the three and three quarter retro line? That is a good question, actually. Why do you think that is the case, Paddy? I imagine they have a PR partner that they want to do the reveal through. I wouldn't be surprised to see something on IGN or something next week. Yep. There's been a lot of GI Joe reveals this week. They're going to let things lie for a week or two, I think, and then they'll have a proper PR full announcement of pre-orders. Plus it's with Walmart you know, via, well, so... with, with IGN or some yeah. other thing. Or I wouldn't even be surprised to see someone like USA Today uh, pick up the mm. reveals of that because USA Today yeah. revealed the first wave of retaliation. Um, yeah. when those were released. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some, some media or anything like that do a review. I imagine USA Today will deal with the Snake Eyes movie really reveals as well. Mm. Like I could see that happening. But also the fact that it's with a, it's a Walmart exclusive means that you've got, you've got another big partner tied up in this. It's not like something, you know, it's not one of those things where you can just go, well, we're Hasbro, we own it. We're going to, you know, put it out there and tell mm. everyone. 
they, this stuff, I, you're I right. I would say Walmart are dictated a lot about how this is revealed and when yeah. the product goes live and so on. Yeah, maybe it might conflict with things that they're trying to push at the moment. So yeah, that's another uh, another thing, absolutely. When do Walmart, uh, don't, don't Walmart do regular resets during the year? Um, you know, August, every, every few months. Yeah. yeah, so you may not see it until... You know, Yojo until August. It. It's, it's, you, may not see them, you may not see them until it filters out to the distribution centers in Walmart and into stores, and then they reveal everything and it's on sale that day in the store. Oh, in the physical stores. I'm just impressed that they've been able to keep the lid on it. I mean, considering yeah. classified stuff was leaking all over the place, and, the fact and, that we haven't seen anything, it's pretty on, amazing. And the Transformer side for the screen yeah. today, we saw at least two figures leaked yesterday that weren't mentioned at yeah. all. That yeah, screen. yeah, 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 absolutely. And also, uh, a couple of things I want to mention on the Transformer side. We didn't see Back to the Future details. We just saw them talk about the Back to the Future crossover, DeLorean, um, you know, as a Transformer. Um, I was quite interested with that because I thought they would have had something to discuss, to show, maybe to get into. Uh, clearly, that is another situation where they're dealing with partnerships um, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, IP uh, that isn't necessarily like, there. That's going to be, like, if you remember Ectotron's announcement was a big deal last summer. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, Comics, it, was, it, was, yeah, it yeah. was on, it was, there was a comic involved. There was, um, there was multiple media outlets involved in getting that word out for that figure. Um, you know, Nerdist and all those other places shared it. So I'd say that's going to be a big separate launch on its own yeah. um, later in the summer. And, and of course, as soon as we know, we'll be we'll sharing it and we'll be getting it out there. If you're a patron, you might even get that information early. Just say. I don't think I don't think you'll I don't think you'll miss it when it's announced. No, Ectotron no. was everywhere. Yeah, true that. Announced. True that. We couldn't, so, we, couldn't, we couldn't look at social media. So with um, like yeah, with that said, uh, oh, well, this is interesting from William J. Hi, William. I get what the line is going for. The fact that they mentioned looking at game trends, and I, I, I forgot that because he did mention that, didn't he? Uh, shows yeah. me that Overwatch and Fortnite were big influences and kids are into that stuff. Um, Justin, do you see that in the classified figures? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they toned it down a little bit for Wave 2, but I think in Wave 1 especially with a kind of more toned it colorful down. animated set. <laughs> they, toned, they brought out they brought out Prophet Director Destro to tone it down. Yeah, that's a good Isn't point. That <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, tone down yeah, some I mean, of this I crazy stuff. That <laughs> yeah, that's that's brilliant. Scarlet, especially, kind of her her head sculpt and kind of the freckles and stuff is a very sort of animated, kind of cartoony mm -hmm. um, sort of appearance. So I think that I definitely see some of that Fortnite influence there. Yeah, and also William says that you know they're selling toys to kids as well, which is the name of the game at this point. Exactly. So yeah, it makes and sense did you see that he this specifically referenced Gung Ho has a shot blaster and a rifle blaster and a. A grenade blaster they didn't see that. you know so you know they were quite clear that these yeah. are not guns guys these I are mean, blasters Le lenny says quite often red and blue lasers and he's referring to sunbow but at the same time i think they're taking that laser aspect into the line and i'm i, I don't mind i just think the yeah. figures look so good so cool again if you're not into it, you're not into it and, I'm and there's and there's plenty of places for you to buy one six scale weapons totally you know, more realistic weapons if you want them Totally. There's the there's the little armory figures. Marauder has uh, yep. that scale of weapons now as well. Yeah, um, you can get them if you want them. Absolutely. Um, the Red Ninja should have been purple and orange. <laughs> that would have been amazing. One hundred percent, you will see that deco variant sooner or later. You're going to see these figures repainted up the arse. When they bring Tripwire out in Wave sixteen, I want. Fun, I want not of either Fun School or Listen and Fun. Either one of those two <laughs> plus, decos plus will be... Blade, plus Action Force Blades. Action Force Blades and Tripwire and Tiger Force. So how many... I'm not even going to get into how many Tripwire is going to need. Um, <laughs> William Ra Ramey says, Gung Ho looks like UFC legend Chuck Liddell. Cool. Well, yeah. I'm glad... I'm and glad to, as well, the Mohawk, yeah. I'm very curious to know what Ronay Rudat thinks, says Brian. Uh, he may even have said further down, but we've got loads of... Not enough tits on display. <laughs> I actually like this line now. More now... Move me wrong, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> William J says he actually likes the line now more after this Pulse thing. And yeah, I, I'm the same. I think I've, it's, gone, it's gone up another level. It's for definitely this, this second wave... It's really those two figures today, Go Go and Red Ninja, really impressed me. Whereas I wasn't that impressed with the first wave. Yeah, and also Brian does. Brian Lauer, Hoodie Cobra Amanda, does in, insist he does like the line for the most part. So that's cool. 
Um, classified Serpentor would be insane. Yes, Henry, I mentioned that. And you've obviously responded to me mentioning that minutes ago. And yes, it would be brilliant. Could you imagine? Because you could do a six inch air chariot. You, that could be like a deluxe. That could be a SDCC exclusive. I'm just giving Hasbro ideas they've probably already done. And if you saw that thing that was shared uh, during the week by Kirk Brazilian, that air chariot for Serpentor originally sold by the truckload. Yeah. It was yeah, like I'd, the fourth or fifth top selling toy. I think um, Bill Nedro bought I think Bill Nedro bought four hundred of them as a kid. <laughs> by by accident. He went into the store and he just kept giving them his credit card and he was yeah. six years uh, old. He, so. he bought a case of them thinking there was only one per case and there was actually twelve <laughs> per case. I love you, Bill. I just, I really want to shout you out so more because that is the funniest story I've ever heard in my life. Um, funnier that I managed to get a Cobra Commander on the network. Had I not, I think I'd have been really angry with you. Well, yeah, because um, did you just pre-order them a Pulse as well? You're going to end up like with 18 Cobra Commanders at this rate, right? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to repaint them because they're obviously not going to bring any more repaints out. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> It means we can do a black repaint of Cobra Commander and a red repaint for a crimson. A red laser. I red wanna, laser. Oh, oh yeah, that's. I'm not going to need another one now, Paddy. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Um, this okay. This is interesting from Kevin, and I will. I will give you. Oh, sorry, Brian Greenwood. Before that, says yes. Give me Serpen. Give me Serpentor and Doctor Mindbender. Agreed. Those would be in the classified line. I and mean, you've already got that naked torso for going whole soul. You've got to have the nipples. Yeah, as long as you have the nipples, him. I'm on board. Thank you, Justin. Has to have the nipples. That's going to be your. Yeah, the nipples are a must. When, when I do the intro for this video, it's going to be Justin has to have the nipples bell, <laughs> uh, which sounds funny because it sounds <laughs> like you need a, a bell on your nipple, which is even cuter. <laughs> um, so Kevin Pochran says this, and I'm going to give you a, a workaround, shall we say? I just wish these new six inch figures would come with file cards. Now, my workaround is the in insane website G.I. Joe have just brought out with that facility on board to like find the character, see the different artwork for it and read a bio. Now, I understand what you mean. You want that kind of physical aspect. Here's my, wor here's my blue Peter workaround. Put card in your in your printer and print out from the website that cut it out and there you go bob's your uncle you've made it yourself done and the reason these aren't coming with bio cards is because they want to sell them worldwide and you can't have a big ton of english language packaging on the back if you're trying to sell these things internationally um, Very it's just not good it's just not points. doable and um, they can have warning labels and so on if you want to sell these in retail stores outside of the us having bio card there that's just in English is not going to work. Interesting point. Thanks, Paddy. I didn't even think about that. You're a fountain of knowledge today. You're a fountain lion. That just like the, the, the little, the warning labels and stuff, if you always see on Transformers packaging, they're always tiny little writing in about 15 different languages. Yeah. But like for Transformers bios outside of the US, there are six different languages and there's never more than a sentence of a bio on the back of Transformers. Yeah, yeah. Um, or they just put... They just put um, a sticker over the name Spastic that was uh, yeah. released in... Uh, it's just, it says something like, you know, Optimus Prime is leader of the Autobots. Optimus is a leader of his Autobots. Optimus! <laughs> Optimus! And, and that's all they can do. So if, you, they, just, if they want these things sold how, worldwide, you can't have biocard. How do you write accents? That's amazing. Um, I, just, I just wish these new six-inch figures... Yeah, I've done read that one. Vietnam 2 Electric Boogaloo, someone said. That must be for uh, the gung-ho gung art. Um, file cards yeah. would be nice, correct. Uh, but like, like I said, there's your workaround. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but that's what I'm, I'm suggesting. Also, oh, you know who they are. Yeah. Come on. PD Destro is hilarious. Great idea. Uh, if any figure in the line will cause controversy and fan fighting, it's that one. Um, I'm so happy to see my bud James R on PDD. He was so excited to work on it from Paul Panthlone. Um, yeah, Paul mentioned that to me yesterday, and it's really cool that James did the art for it. He did the art for Word Burglar's um, Replicable Skills album, which, again, if you're watching this after the fact, I'll put the, I'll flash it up on screen. Can't do that at the moment because we're just too excited, and I can't. I, I've run out of arms to do things. Um, but yeah, shout out to Paul Panfalone. I'm going to be on his show on Saturday night. 
tomorrow night uh, doing Nerd Out Saturday, Saturday Night Nerd Out, I think it's called. It was Thursday Night Battles, but we had to change it. Uh, the idea of getting different awesome artists to do the package art is wonderful. And I am really on board with this now. Like beforehand, when we were talking about it and we had discussed, you know, a lot of people were saying it's not going to line up on the, on the, on the, you know, it's not going to look right together. I just love it. I think the individuality is, is what's making this even more fun for me. What about mm-hmm. you guys? Yeah, I definitely I like it. it. Yeah. Nice, yeah. <laughs> At the same time, go. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. I, no. We just go keep on, finishing just... each other's sentences. Or just we're so connected. <laughs> just saying the same sentence. Like Tom Max and Zaymark, yeah. Oh yeah, you go. Yeah, Bell Max <laughs> and Padzot. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's fun to see who's working on which characters are. That is another thing. Like when you find out, oh, like you know, like, it could be like one of your favorite artists all of a sudden mm-hmm. gets on a, you know, gets on a on a classified art. I, I, think, like, I think all of us, all of us, had a different artist we were excited about seeing yes. on that packaging art. And there's going to be um, more. Like, That's another thing. There's going to be more. You're going to keep seeing them. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, um, I, it was mentioned, I think, in that stream, but also I've interviewed Lenny, waiting on Hasbro's approval to post the interview. Uh, obviously, they're having a lot of trouble with my accent. I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you, Hasbro. And um, in that interview, he did mention that, that you. They actually demanded see... Chris's appendix as a deposit before they <laughs> then talked to Lenny. <laughs> they're like, you can have it back if the interview's good. It was on the screen the whole time, pulsating, and sweating, and ooey gooey hideousness. Did they say this was on the first part of wave two, meaning there is more figures coming for wave two, or did I totally hear that wrong? I think this is wave two. Um, I believe, like I said before, Storm Shadow and Destro were effectively exclusive. Are exclusives, yeah. And uh, the Cobra Commander was an exclusive and has now kind of been released now on Hasbro Pulse. Anyway. So I imagine what you'll see is you'll have, um, if it's, it's six per case for that figures, right? Yeah, I think it's three, see, two, one. I think one, it's how yes. they've packed so it, yeah. You, you might see three Cobra Commanders, two Gung Holes and a Ninja or... I believe that Ninja. is the actual lo- lineup of, of things, which is a bit worrying because it's a short packed Ninja. Red Ninja, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it should have been two, it should have been at least two of him on, on, on We will, I mean, we'll see that is, you know, it's not it, con- it is, I think it's concrete evidence, but uh, not c- concrete information, but at the same time, that could change. They could change minds. We, we don't but know. But again, it makes sense to, you know, overpack Cobra Commander because for a random person walking by, that's the one they're going to pick up. Yeah, yeah. You know, of course, because it's, it's the most... He's, he's, he's the culturally recognisable one, yeah. Yeah. I don't think many people are going to look at Destro and go, oh, well, they'll look at him and go, I want that, but they're going to look at it and go, what is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the the non-G.I. Joe hardcores, anyway. Uh, Diana says his cowl comes off in all caps. Yes, it does, and it looks incredible. Uh, I was happy to hear Lenny say that classic designs are definitely a possibility. Absolutely, I'm. I'm kind of like I keep thinking to myself if this line is so rich and keeps going and keeps like churning this stuff out, I can see them doing like sunbow figures and classic, you know, uh, action figure like. Repl- replicant versions and six i can see that happening down the line and more more so than i did before because when i saw that storm shadow i'm like this is very close like it's almost like i'm looking at the figure just bigger you know mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. so and and let's face it that is a better figure than the the ninja force one i'm looking at you justin but yeah uh, <laughs> Um, he has a no, little. I mean, I, I agree. Yeah, that I was really surprised at the, the Ninja Force homage today, and I think that really does kind of open the door for all sorts of other possibilities. Tiger know, Force down Duke, the road. obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But it's it's nice it's nice that they're doing a couple of deep cuts so early on in yeah. the product director Destro and the Ninja Force uh, Storm Shadow. I mean, these are the details. Like it, it proves it's people who know about the line that's designing these things. Yeah. Which I'm waiting is something for, that will, you know, mollify a lot of the kind of more hardcore fans, I think. I'm waiting they for they the know ba- these figures, they know these characters. I'm waiting for the Battlecore Rangers and uh, Ninja Commandos sub teams. Give us a DEF <laughs> in Wave 3, you cowards. <laughs> you cowards. <laughs> Do it, you losers. Um, <laughs> you got here. Oh, uh, Kevin says, I have seen a screenshot of the Storm Shadow that you were talking about. Same fig, just without the outer hood. Okay, thank you. I was just being an idiot. Um, my only complaint about the six-inch line is the expense. 20, 20 a figure means I won't be army building. 
Uh, when you figure is where it's going, I'm afraid. I mean, um, that's sort of high. If, if you wanted a really high end four inch figure, that's where the, that's where the prices are as well. Like a a a, a really highly articulate. How much of those really highly articulated four inch Star Wars figures run now? I'm not a Star Wars collector. I have no idea, but I I think they're close to twenty dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I mean, that's where the sort of price are going. That does feel like the standard price, doesn't it? And, I, and honestly, like I, I see these at twenty, and I'm kind of like, that's not bad. Like I don't feel like bad. I'm being I'm being like taken right. for a ride, but I can understand that that like, is for, for for a figure like the Red Ninja with all the stuff he's come up with, twenty two dollars or whatever it's costing is not a bad price at all. Yeah, yeah. With all the accessories he has. A lot of a lot of uh, love coming through for Storm Shadow at the moment as well on the on the feed. Um, hi Ben, Hare, you're watching as well. Um, yeah, and Sam says it's a standard price for the scale these days, but I get it. Yeah, and we all do. I think that's we all kind of agree that you know it sucks. We all wish these we'd things agree. were five dollars cheaper, but yeah. this is the way it's gone. You know. Let's just wait for Ross. They'll be everywhere. Um, Whatever you do, don't get don't get into Gundam. I just spent seventy five quid on one today. Yikes. Uh, I've always said that O-ring figures are better toys, whereas modern figures are better collectibles. Ironically, at this time, O-ring are also nostalgic for older collectors, so either vintage will be popular. I think yes, but I, I, I think if people want 4-inch, they want a 4-inch continuation as opposed to a 4-inch re-jig of what we've already had. So, you know, I, I, I know personally, I think I would like to see if, if we did get 4-inch modern, uh, not just for the retro line, but just in general, then I'd like to see it kind of coming off the back of, say, <laughs> bad choice of words, coming off the back of, like, say, the <laughs> the retaliation waves and, like, you know, 50th to yeah. a lesser. I honestly, if if the vintage line is, as I said to you, 25th remakes, 25th type style remakes or, or vintage, I have no interest in either of them. Yeah. The only, the only modern era Joe line I'd buy would be basically be Pursuit of Cobra Plus. Like I don't, I don't have a need for a vintage style orange. Yeah. Robert says, "Love this line. Great time to be in collecting." What kind of figures would you like to? Okay, here's here's a bit of a side. Uh, uh, we're going to go on a side quest here quickly. Retro figures. Give me a retro figure that you'd love to see in the retro line that hasn't seen the light of day in the past. That's a tough call. I mean, they during the comic back days, they took care of so many. Yeah. Kind of retro, small, you know three and three quarter inch figures that I mean, you know, the Dr. Venoms, the Quins, the stuff like that, and the Billies has all been done at this point. Um that's tough. I I it's tough for me to think of anything to revisit off the top of my head. I could, you know, I would love to see them do some new things, but um, what about, as far as you know, kind of revisiting. What about a whole little line, a little kind of every now and again we'll get one, a Sigma Six style vintage figure. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, of course, yeah. If you wanted to do Sigma 6 in a 4-inch scale, sign me up in a minute. Yeah. That's, they that's never sure. they never they never did the Astro Viper again, right? They did two Astro Vipers. They did uh the black and red one. They did like a kind of teal version. Right. But they in, never did them in like, you know, in modern. Um, in modern. Yeah, I'm talking about the retro line right now. So right. a vintage O-ring figure that didn't make it in that. But place. I mean, he he never got like a comic pack re-release or anything like that, right? Um, he was. Don't um, think so. He was just. He was just so, a vintage no. release. Yeah. Yeah. There's one that's missing. Yeah. Yeah. I totally. Could do because they're hard to find complete as well. You see, I'd like to see in in kind of like the what I'm trying to get at here. I'd like to see Pythona done as a vintage figure. Because we obviously we never gotcha. got yeah. the vintage Pythona. I'd also like to see someone like Colonel Sharp, who was in the Sunbow cartoon quite mm -hmm. a lot. You know, I'd like to see him in a vintage figure. And Do also, a slightly different Royal Guard, and then Adam will go crazy again. Royal Guard. Oh yeah. Could you imagine if they'd revealed a Royal Guard today? The, I don't think we could have. I think there'd have been. A I actually tsunami. think the earth would have shattered from the sound <laughs> of his screams, Joey. It would have been at that point where the, the meteor struck the earth and yeah, the asteroid just took us out. Um, how do we get Storm Shadow in the UK? That is a very good question. It's a good I, question. Um, in Demand Toys might have him. Imagine, yeah, I imagine you'll see him on In Demand Toys or Kapow. Yeah, In Demand, Kapow. All of the independents will probably be able to get him at some point because obviously you'll get people like trawling... Uh, the storm shadows and kind of I disseminating. don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but um, the comic shop here in uh, Dublin, the Big Bang, managed to get some of the Snake Eyes um, deluxe. Too late. Said it now. 
said it now, but they managed to get some of him in. So it is this, gettable on the grey market. This is live, by the way. <laughs> Uh, what we got? I don't shop there anymore. Yeah, I, don't, um, I, don't, I don't shop there anymore because I've moved away from where they oh, are. Oh, so that sucks. They're not going to be able to slap me in person. <laughs> John Campbell says, I've noticed Shipwreck isn't one of the featured characters on the website. Shipwreck has always been a popular character, so I'm hoping that it's just an oversight and that he's in the works. Mate, ima- I-, I can tell you now, Shipwreck, Beachhead, Bazooka... All of, you, all of the characters, even if they're not on the website, will be done in time. Like, mm-hmm. if this is a successful line, it will get to that point. Um, sucks if you're only collecting a certain character, absolutely. Or if you're just waiting on a certain character to... I mean, to, we know, got but, plenty of shipwrecks in Modern Forage. They know he's a popular character. Yeah, yeah. You've got, yeah. You got one in the 50th, yeah. you've got one in um, just after uh, Pursuit of Cobra, the Arctic one. You've got one, in, you got one in Sigma 6 too, so I mean... Yes, they know, they know he's a popular character. Um, yeah, people talking about shipwreck now. It's just a big shipwreck feed, so that's great. Uh, hi, Troy. Uh, Justin uh, posted the Arctic Storm Shadow link. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you doing that for me. One of my sure. one of my uh, marketing arms of the Full Force podcast. <laughs> um, agreed, Paddy. Been a long time since there's been this much hype. Says Joe Fan eighty two. Um, Love seeing GI Joe back at retail. We're definitely buying all of these if I can afford it. Says Matthew. So he's following on from what he was saying before. Uh, hi to Marco Byrne. Um, what about the numbering? We have a gap between eight Red Ninja to 14 Arctic Storm Shadow. Who are we getting next? Now, we can obviously, um, we've been kind of, again, like discussing this, like with listings that are leaking and so on and so forth. A lot of names have been popping up recently. We still have the Baroness um, to kind of decipher and work out. I'm really surprised we didn't see her today, given that the art has been everywhere. Yeah, and considering we've seen Storm Shadow Arctic version and not like, you know, so Storm Shadow is probably another one, like regular Storm Shadow, Baroness, you've got the Alley Viper, which is being, has art on the back of the card. Not, I mean, it's not necessarily that it's actually in there, but if that's the only character on that back of art that I, I actually, done, I actually, I actually noticed that the Alley Viper art, he's carrying Duke's gun yeah. in a different deco. So yeah. he's definitely coming. Yeah, there you go. That's Paris a real accessory you. there. Fact, um, <laughs> and we also know obviously that the the other ones were like going to be exclusives, like either at SDCC, further down the line. I, I imagine COVID's had a massive impact on how these waves have been released and shown, and, and all that kind of stuff. So the the gap and the difference is just basically probably down to that. Yeah, so I think that, I think you'll probably see a wave tree with an Ali Viper, a yeah. Baroness, and. Lady J and Barbecue as well, we've heard as well, right? Oh, hi, Dad, as well. Dad just joined. Hi, Dad. Good to see you. Um, I say just joined. So, we, we, we know of at least five figures that haven't been revealed yet just because they're on the back of the packaging. Yeah. Baroness, uh, Ali Viper, um, Flint, Lady J, and Barbecue. Oh, yeah. Which are the Flint, Lady J, Barbecue, there. a mountain line, which I'm thinking is Major Blood, and of course, we've got Zartan as well. So, these are all characters that popped up in listings recently on target listings and they're all under the kind of 1999 classified banner so we can assume that they were just the names but we can assume they're classified and that looks to me like that will fill out quite a lot maybe like wave three wave four that's that's possibly even two waves worth of stuff yeah Yeah. oh easy and then of course you've got the movie product which would have been coming out revealed a lot earlier a lot sooner but now you've got the the wait to wait and see what's happening with the film. That's another another issue. Matthew Pack says Gaucho and Quarrel should be coming. Yes, they should. Um, can't believe Red Ninja is sold out already. True. Um, He's a mass retail figure of Wave Two of the toy line that's rolling out. He'll be everywhere by September. Joe Fan eighty two like, says I've seen a lot of people saying they haven't bought Joes in a long time, but these figures brought them in again. I've seen that a lot as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they do a Gaucho version, I guess I'll have another cartoon to draw, says Col- Colin Arthurs, who's been doing the most amazing art that I keep sharing on the Facebook page uh, and on Twitter. Um, great sh- uh, shout out to Colin as well. He's a, an absolute legend. Uh, Red Ninja still on BBTS as well, by the way, someone says. So uh, there you go. B- big Bad Toy Story, I've got Red Ninja. Uh, so stoked for the Light Blue CC. 
Uh, Lenny said more, a real American hero accurate six inch figures are most likely going to happen as well, says uh, Paul, because he was listening, as uh, we mentioned earlier. Um, and, you know, we need, we need to bring up as well that quite often Hasbro will do repack cases and stuff in between the main waves. So if there's a figure that's coming out that's selling out really well, they'll probably repack it later on you know, yeah. in a revision case. Assortment. So, I mean, if you're worried that you're not going to get Red Ninjas or something, he'll be available again at some point. That's a good thing to do. And just to, to respond to Michael Woodworth, who was uh, worried that the UK fans are being a little bit, you know, like ignored by Hasbro. Hasbro UK are in league with a lot of uh, uh, independents in the UK. Hasbro UK deal with in-demand toys. So you'll be getting through in-demand toys official allowed product. It's not like in-demand toys are scalping or they're pulling it in from the Far East or anything like that. They are officially in league with Hasbro UK. Mm -hmm. uh, as there, are, there is there is UK stock of all this stuff. So you, you will be getting it in the UK, just possibly not in like a pre-order sense on Hasbro Pulse, but you will be able to get it via and I, those. I, and, I, and I don't see classified hitting mass retail here as in Smith's. Um, possibly not, I, no. I, I, I will see it. I can, I can see in demand that Kapai will probably will have you covered. Uh, and the comic way. shops as well. Sorry, local comic shops are getting classified as well because they're, they are being distributed through Diamond UK. Yeah. So if you have a local comic shop, go in there and order what you need. I, that's what I did for my... Uh, and also, uh, also, I think people saying like you know Netherlands and also in demand toys ship to the to Europe. They actually ship globally. So go nuts on in demand toys, guys. And again, uh, have any, a, have any, any, com and any comic shop that deals with diamond will be able to get them. Absolutely. Have classified figures hit actual stores yet? No, not yet. Um, and Justin's some already answered that question. Sorry, them. Justin. <laughs> Sorry. Some some comic shops have had classified in in, in their diamond deliveries. Yeah. But uh, yes. they haven't hit. The official, street of... date, the official street date they said was first of July. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, beautiful head got for Scarlet. Yes. Listen, to fun trip tripwire could come with a TF cassette Ravage. Actually, that's really freaking cool. That, that is actually, great, actually an amazing idea for a crossover right there. Uh, and you're right. There's your Transformers crossover. Thank you, Diana. Uh, I have three words for you, Hasbro creators: crystal ball and bat. That's four words. Uh, and is like a you know it's a connector but it's still a word but yeah correct they, those two would be amazing bat is on the website so i think that's a good indication that we might be getting a bat at some point mm -hmm. and, and uh, they're talking about future tech and classified future audio tech and i mean the bat is a the bat is a is, is, is a natural kind of release of yeah direction. and crystal that's ball sees into the future so perfect <laughs> um okay hi john hi colin hi david um, I hope they make the Falcon Glider for six inch figures so a new generation can be disappointed. <laughs> Amazing. They should, actually, if they do six inch vehicles, it should only be remakes of the worst area H vehicles. Uh, Diana says, What is it about Joe and Nipples? Uh, yeah, exactly. They were going on about it, Nipples, on Tom Carson, Robert, and Brandon's live stream on Wednesday. They were. I did notice that and I was going to comment, but I thought, you know, I'm not going to be immature. <laughs> Yes, I am. Um, everyone seems First to be doing... time for everything, Chris. Yeah, thank you, Justin, for that. Uh, today's market <laughs> has to be multilingual to save money, correct? Patrick Stewart's watching. Uh, you should have joined us, Pat, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get you on something else later. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, nipples are mentioned on the polls thing, too. Like, what is it with us, man? We just love nipples. M male nipples as well, by the sounds of things. Great point about selling them internationally. Really makes sense in today's world. Uh, yeah, okay, what have we got else? Uh, EE as well, Entertainment Earth. There's another name to drop. They've got them up there now as well. Really like the figures in this line. Sadly, too much choice and not enough space, says Cole, Colin. I know, yeah. join the club. Uh, could be swayed by a Firefly though, yes. And he is also another character. I mean, we're, we're just throwing characters out at the moment that aren't necessarily in the classified line, but we have seen artwork on the website um, not classified artwork, I should say, but they've, they've put him on up there. Can I dare dream about a six-inch Hector Ramirez? Justin, would you like that? Sure. I'll take six-inch anything at this point. <laughs> that, is a, that is a sound bite. Uh, In-demand toys have the classified <laughs> figures up for pre-order. Thank you very much, Paddy. UK people, um, they've just posted their Facebook page. I'll tell you exactly what they have. They just have, in case you didn't they believe have me. Product Director Destro for pre-order. They have the Red Ninja. They have Gung Ho, they have Cobra Commander, the Dark Blue variant. 
Uh, they have snake eyes, they have regular release Destro, they have Scarlet, they have Duke. So they Fantastic. have wave one and wave two um, of uh, for UK buyers in demand, have them up for pre order this second. Shout out to Nick and Mass Wells, who do an amazing job at in demand toys. Love you guys, miss you guys, can't wait to Product see you. Product director again. distro is limited one per customer. So get yeah. on that. Yeah. Uh, Profit director Wells. Profit director Wells is Nick Wells' new name. And also, I'm also going to say Pro Pro Profit director Dietrich. Uh, Aaron at Roma Collectibles is probably going to go by that name. And in fact, I've already seen a t shirt design that he's done that has Profit Director Dietrich written on it. I ruined it. I ruined the surprise. Sorry, Aaron. Um, what else we got? Uh, D oh, this is fun. Uh, deep Six, uh, Six Inch Deep Six with Whale. They could call him Deep Six Inches, which is uh, amazing. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. This is a family show, Diana. Please. <laughs> we were just talking about we're not going to be immature. Come on. Yeah. I mean, come on. Um, <laughs> let us, let us talk no, about nipples in peace, please. She is being serious, though. A deep six actually would be freaking amazing. <laughs> that, would, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be would very be cool. cool. Um, what does this mean for the target system leaks exclusives? I don't think uh, Target do have exclusives, but they'll also be stocking classified figures like they do with Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black Series. One of them will be a Target exclusive, but they'll also be putting out the other stuff as well so all those other listings they're not all target exclusives they're just all the product they're going to be have one of which will be a target exclusive or possibly more because it could have been a couple of ways as paddy mentioned before <sighs> okay pythona says the blind hermit bongo the balloon bear globulus or headman for four inch um major hooper lol uh bongo lives just custom the scuba van up I like that. That's a good, that's a good uh, idea. Uh, so this is kind of going back to our talk about what we'd like to see in a retro or a modern four inch line. Uh, Colonel Sharp, Fatal Fluffies. Oh yeah, totally, totally. Royal Guard, Generic Cobra Last Citizens, absolutely. Um, oh, here we go. There's already an illustration for Lady J on the website. I, unless it's just gone up, I don't think that's a classified Lady J artwork. No, um, I don't think so either. No. But unless that's just changed, in which case I will look after this stream, which is coming to an end, guys. Don't worry, we're nearly finished. Um, no word on Baroness and Ali Viper, correct? Hi, Andrew Franks. You might have le left already. Snake Eyes with Motorcycle. That was another interesting thing that was picked up on in the listings. There is a... Um, G.I. Joe figure and motorbike that's coming out, but we're thinking that's probably movie based and that's probably why we haven't seen it yet. And it's probably Snake Eyes on a motorbike. Um, are they going to be vehicles? Well, they did talk about that a little bit, and I'm guessing they're just they're probably they probably are developing stuff in all honesty. You can't talk about it in a kind of yeah, we could do that in the future, and they need like two years ahead on this stuff minimum. <laughs> So it's probable that we're getting vehicles at some stage as well. I'm definitely in on six-inch vehicles. Justin, are you in on six-inch vehicles? And what kind of vehicles would you be interested in in that sense? Uh, they'd have to be pretty cool vehicles. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out exactly where I'm going to store all the six-inch figures. But I'm, yeah, I don't know. I would take some smaller scale vehicles and be probably selective about it. But I just, I don't have the space to be buying a whole fleet of six inch scale vehicles yeah fair enough i mean i think there's going to be small aspects like obviously you know i'm thinking serpentor's air chariot would be a great example that'd Zanzibar's, be cool I'd, I'd go in for that yeah uh the uh, I'd, go in for that. I'd get like a motorcycle or two but mm. something like that yeah yeah motorbikes the air skiff from zanzibar things like that like the ferret i could see being done could you imagine right be... could you imagine an sdc cc exclusive ferret that came with the Crimson Twins. Just let that oh, sink geez. in on a classified level. Let that sink in, guys. That'd be nuts. That's 150 bucks. Three thousand dollars, and they'd be That's wearing the, problem. the same. The problem, is, the problem is, anything bigger than like a motorbike is going to get really expensive. I can see them doing yep. a whole lineup of uh, Profit Director decos for the Twins Baroness. They'll all be wearing that leopard print, like all the way. It'll be like a whole sub team of it. Uh, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be angry at that. That'd be cool. Did you guys catch where they said Network would be reaching out to people that pre-ordered Cobra Commander? I'm a little confused. Will they give us the option of the light blue one now? Maybe I misheard. No. Network will be giving out the dark blue figure. 
that's what they are going to be dispensing. That's what they were given. That's what they're selling. The artwork that, that Hasbro gave them was early. Well, no, it wasn't early. It was, again, it was the wrong thing. They, Hasbro said they apologized. They gave Network the wrong like stuff to show off and, and do. They wanted that as a deluxe figure down the line and they decided to just go ahead and release it early anyway. So you can get the light blue and gold on Hasbro Pulse and the dark blue, but you can also, if you've got it on the network, you're going to be getting a dark blue Cobra Commander. Okay, cool. Um, there are Night Ravens all over the package art. There are, there are. Uh, what else have we got? Six inch working pogos. That would be quite cool. Uh, Firefly. I'll take a six inch anything, says Andrew, with quotation marks. That's lamed at you, Bell. Um, <laughs> uh, I okay. never said that. Okay, uh, this is a question to both of you. I'll start with Paddy on this one. What do you think about Wave 2 of 6-inch already having an alternate Destro instead of a new character and a Red Ninja before a Cobra Trooper? Well, he's not a Wave, a wave. He's, he's not Wave 2, PD Destro. Um, yeah. He's the exclusive, so Check. there's a difference. Um, right. And ninjas are cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a fact of life that you're going to get reused tooling. And if they're going to reuse the Snake Eyes tooling, I think doing it for a Red Ninja with some of those new parts mixed in is, I'm totally fine with that. And, you know, the Snake Eyes movie is coming out this year and it's going to feature ninjas. So it only makes sense to kind of incorporate those into the classified line. And um, kids love ninjas. Yes, and uh, adults as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Just ask Adam Riches. Uh, Stephen Miller has made a, an interesting point. Now, I'll, 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 I'll unpack this little comment as well, but is Covergirl on a motorbike in her artwork? Yes, Covergirl is on a motorbike in her artwork on the G.I. Joe website under her character bio. It is not her classified artwork. I think it's a John Royal piece. And that it is a John Royal cover from era, era. Quite recently as well, like about yeah. four, or four issues ago. And that artwork is there in place to obviously you know there's cover girl kind of thing now that is a good point to mention when we're talking about vehicles could cover girl if she's released come with a motorbike it's not beyond the realms of possibility and it could be a nice thing where they've gone you know hey we want to release cover girl but with a vehicle ha are there any images out there of cover girl on a motorbike yeah we we got them to do one on a real american hero boom there it is let's put it on there so i'm just you know again huge speculation there but it's a possibility, but that artwork is not classified artwork. It is a John Royal cover piece. Um, okay, so Matt Pack says, if you go to gijo.com and click on the characters and then click on the last coming soon box, you will see, oh, I see the small circular pick of Lady J. That is, again, I don't think is classified artwork because I've seen it before. I think it was used on a comic or it was used on some sort of, uh, uh, some sort of other piece, but it's not the classified artwork. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. It, but it, again, it's yeah. not classified. There's a hodgepodge of art on that website from yeah. IDW and from Devil's it's, Jew, it's like, even from original Marvel run. It's like the art of Sun Tzu. It's like the it's the art of war, isn't it? It's like confuse the enemy by throwing as much at them as possible, and they have to work it out, and then <laughs> you kill them. Um, <laughs> well, I think that's their philosophy. I mean, today it's a perfect example. Today, you know, I, I didn't. I just, I pre-ordered every single G.I. Joe item that I found anywhere because I didn't know what was what. And so they, they defeated me. They, they got me to buy everything without knowing what I was getting. Just yep. to be sure. That, yeah, thanks for that, Hasbro. Appreciate it. Michael Woodworth, at the end of the thing, has said, what did I miss? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to go through it now. You can, sorry, you can watch the uh, live stream, uh, sorry, like kind of in full again after this has gone up, after we've finished. We'll be finishing very shortly. There's only a few little more things I want to talk about quickly. And then um, I'm also putting it on YouTube after the fact as well, a bit edited, a bit sexy with some images. Um, I'll probably have to cut a lot of my face off and just have the Crimson Twins over there uh, dominating the screen to make it really sexy. Um, yeah, so... Um, I'm not, yeah, so again, like just watch it afterwards because I'm not going through it again. Uh, <laughs> they should do small vehicles like Claw, Flight Pod, Snake, Ram Cycle, and others. Actually, Kofi, yeah, you've mentioned a lot there that I didn't mention, and they're all great op like, options. Um, leopard, print ver Co leopard Print Cobra versus Tiger Force. Yes, Colin, absolute genius. 
Um, Dreadnoughts and motorcycles is a very, very good point. Zartan as well coming up soon. So uh, I could see motorcycles being used. While Bill is on the website, does that hint at a dragonfly? Well, it might hint at a retro dragonfly. I doubt we'd be hinting at a, a classified dragonfly just yet, but you never know. What do you reckon, Paddy? You were about to say something. I, I, I actually wonder, actually, could some of these figures be coming in the retro line? It's a good point, yeah. It doesn't some of those characters, maybe they're never going to get classified figures, but they might turn up in the retro line instead. Very like good a point. a retro cover girl or a retro uh, wild bill. Very good point. I mean, it, it's not, it doesn't, I mean, some of it says like classified, but it doesn't necessarily mean the classified series. So we will see, we'll see what that, what that entails. We need a stalker with a jump pack. Yes. Um, yeah, there we go. Right. Thank you, Stephen, for that last one. We will bring it to a close there. I think cause we've been on here for ages. I can see Justin just doesn't want to be here anymore. He hates us. He, <laughs> he's already thinking like, oh, why, why did I bother? Why do I bother like sponsoring this crap? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> great guys, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on, and I've enjoyed this so much. I said an F word. I'm gonna have to edit that out on the YouTube video. Paddy, have you enjoyed yourself? I have. I actually thought it was a the, the new Storm Shadow was a very nice um, was a very nice review. I'm and very, just, very happy with that. I'm glad. I agree with you, Justin. What was your highlight and and how happy are you right now? Uh, Gung, Gung Ho was still the highlight, even though he was leaked late, late yesterday, early today. But um, but yeah, I had a great time. It was fantastic just watching them all come through. I'm I'm really glad they showed some insight to that artwork and yeah. that they revealed something that we hadn't seen before with Storm Shadow. I think uh, they did a great job. Great job all round. Absolutely buzzing after <laughs> Matt says thanks for the f bomb. You're welcome. Absolutely buzzing after that amazing stream. Um, I can't wait to get the Lenny interview up as soon as they allow me to. I might just go rogue and leak it like they do with everything else at Hasbro. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that's never going to see the light of day now, is it? Um, we will be back uh, again like with news bursts, with uh, all sorts of stuff, because obviously my work is never done here. <sighs> Uh, and also with uh, more watch alongs possibly next week, um, depending on how things go. So again, join us for that. Thank you guys for jumping on. We've had, I've, I've been amazed at how many people have been watching this stream. Like I'm really happy that we got like upwards of about 60 people uh, jumping on at one point. And we've had loads of cool comments and questions and stuff. So had a great, had an absolute blast. Paddy, Justin, see you guys soon. Speak to you later. And even though it's a Absolutely. Yo Joe day, even though it's a Yo Joe day, I like to at the end of our live streams say one more thing. And after three guys, one, two, three, four, oh, fours. Fours. perfect. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force